guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are new here, I'm Bree. A lot of people call me Breezy. And if you're returning, thank you again for coming back. Um, any support to my channel means a lot. So without further ado, we're just gonna get into it today. Try to keep the intro short. So what I do every couple of months, because I love watching these videos, because like what is more telling than using up a product pretty much entirely and then giving your opinion on it like you try something once or twice and it's like uh, like I think I know if I like it or if I don't but if you use it up fully like come on you have a great opinion so over the past couple months I have filled this bag with empty products anything from makeup to skincare to hair care whatever and now I'm gonna bring it all back out I barely even remember what's in this bag and I'll give you a quick like what I repurchase it, did I like it, what I thought of it type deal. So if you want to see the products I've used up in the past couple months and my opinions on those products, please keep watching. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are, 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 you are the solution. You are the solution. You are, you are, you are, you are. Alright. Here we go. I'm just gonna pull stuff out of this bag. The first thing is a body product that goes in the shower. So this is Native. If you don't know that brand, they're really well known for their deodorants. I have one on my desk here somewhere. I love their deodorants. And I saw that they had body wash. Um, actually, Mark got this for me for Christmas. I think I put it in my stocking. So this is the charcoal one. I love this brand and I love the body wash, but I would probably rather have a different um, scent, I would say. Like the charcoal is good, but First of all, it's like almost black. It's like a really dark gray. So it kind of just like, it doesn't stain your shower, but it's just like, if you get a drop of it, it's just like, then you can totally tell it's there. And it's the same thing with any charcoal toothpaste. Like I'd rather just have something that's clear. So I do love this, but repurchasing it, I'm probably gonna do like the coconut vanilla or whatever other um, scent they have. All right, moving on. So then the next one I have is an empty bottle of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Mist. This is a setting spray. This sucker is literally totally empty. And if you wanna know if I like it or not, here's a full one. So I did repurchase it. I love this. I love anything dewy and luminous. My skin is so dry in the winter. And just in general, I feel like it gives like a more lifelike appearance to your skin than everything being so matte. So even if you're using matte makeup and you want to spray this on top, I think it can be like a good combination. Um, to be honest, I love this and this isn't like, shouldn't even be in this video, but I also have the new Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Both are really great, but I will say that the way this mist comes out in this one is insanely amazing i really love it this is nice too but it's very like wet when you spray it like this is a fine mist so just keep that in mind but yes i did repurchase this the next one is this mascara so this is the maybelline big shot this was the collab with shayla this is great mascara honestly at this point it's almost empty and it is dried out because i do have eyelash extensions i only ever need mascara for the bottom and i can't really like use this wand on my bottom lashes because i need something like skinny so since this is almost empty and dried up, I gotta get rid of it. But would I repurchase if I didn't have lash extensions? Definitely, I do really like this mascara and it's affordable. So another one, I go through these just like crazy. I go through this one and the ColourPop one is probably in here as well. This is the e.l.f. Um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is a really great cheap option. It's only like two bucks. Uh, the pencil on this one is thicker than something like a micro brow pencil from Anastasia or ColourPop. I kind of like this for during the week because I never am like doing such a precise brow so it's easier to kind of just fill in. It has the spoolie on the end and I brush them out. I repurchase this all the time. So then some skincare stuff. This is all out of order. I'm just grabbing whatever I see. This is the Burt's Bees Rose Micellar Toning Water. So it looks like this. I pretty much used up every last drop of this sucker. There's a little bit in there. I love micellar water if you've never used it. So basically like at night most of the times I'll shower after the gym, wash my face, all that stuff. When I wake up, I don't necessarily feel like I always need to like fully wash my face again um, because it is clean, but obviously I slept. What I'll do with my cellar water is use one of my reusable cotton pads, put a little bit of this on it, and then I just wipe all through my face. This is supposed to just wipe away any makeup, cleanse and tone your skin. I really just like this. I loved this one. I don't know why I didn't repurchase this. Maybe I it wasn't like in stock at Target or wherever when I went because I have a new one now that like I don't really like. I'll tell you that when I use it all up, but I just use it because it's there. But I would totally repurchase this one. Skincare related as well. 
This is my cleanser. So this is from Monet. This is the Be Gentle Creamy Cleanser. Um, I do have a link in my bio if you wanted to shop any of the products. So they have two different skin lines. One is made for like oily skin, oily combo. One is made for dry sensitive. I'm definitely dry sensitive. So this is their creamy cleanser. I am literally obsessed with this when I ran out. I didn't have the new cleanser right away. So I was using a couple other things that I just had and nothing was as good. So I did repurchase this one. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's creamy. It removes all your makeup. It doesn't stain my skin. I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna do this one right in a row because I just talked about the cleanser. So this is the Mani um, Be Gentle uh, Moisturizer. Is this lighting like so hard to see? Well, it's empty if you can tell. Um, but I love this stuff so much too. And I obviously repurchased this as well. If you've seen my story, um, this is great for really dry skin. It leaves your skin feeling so soft. It doesn't look like you have like oil on your face, but it's really hydrating. So then when I had run out of that, I had a little um, jar of the Clinique Moisture Surge moisturizer. I didn't love this. Like it's more of a gel. I don't know, I just didn't really like it. I used it up because it was small, but would I repurchase this? Probably not. I feel like there's moisturizers I like better. Another good spray that I ran out of is MAC Fix Plus. This baby is empty for, except for a few drops on the bottom. I couldn't get out. Fix Plus is amazing. Um, you can use this. I really like to use this, not necessarily when I'm done my makeup, which you can, but I like to say, like, do my foundation, do some powders and stuff like that. And then I'll spray this, let it dry, and keep moving on with my makeup. It just kind of lets the powder sink into any of the liquids that you're using. And just really gives you that, like, flawless finish. Yes, I would definitely repurchase this. I just have not yet. It's the two concealers that I have run out of. The ColourPop No Filter Concealer and the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. They look like this. There's still concealer, like, on the outside of the tube. But it's, like, impossible to get any really left um, when I'm putting the Dofa in there. So I really love both of these. I love the makeup. I love the ColourPop one because it's so light and creamy. I can use it on like a daily basis. If I just want a quick spot conceal before I go to the gym or whatever, I usually always would reach for the ColourPop one. Um, I did actually repurchase, but I got their new formula, which is their, I forget what it's called, but it's like the hydrating one. So I'm testing that one out right now. So I did repurchase that. And I actually repurchased this as well. The Makeup Revolution, it's very similar to that one. Maybe a little more full coverage, but still like pretty creamy and something I can use on a daily basis to spot conceal. And I did repurchase. So two foundations. The first one I used up like kind of a while back and there was a little bit left, but it's definitely like old and really expired. So I just decided to get rid of it. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Would I repurchase this? Heck no, literally no, not at all, never again. I love Tarte to death and I know they have like great products. They have so many other things that I do use and love. This to me is way too thick. It is so thick, it feels heavy on your skin. I really didn't like it after I purchased it but I kind of kept using it up because it's like their foundations are generally like close to $40. So I used it up as much as I could but I didn't really like it and I wouldn't repurchase. The foundation, I guess you can technically call it that, it's very light coverage. This is the Clinique Fit Workout Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 40. So this is 12 hour wear, natural matte finish, oil free, allergy tested, fragrance free. This stuff I have repurchased multiple times actually. I think this is my second or third one. I really do like it for just wanting something, wanting to have something to wear like when I go to the gym, even if I'm not working out like necessarily, but I'm coaching. Like for anybody in our job, it's like you kind of want to feel put together sometimes. Do I have to wear makeup to the gym? No, I'm just coaching, but I like to have something light on my skin. And this is definitely that. It's very. Uh, light coverage kind of sheer, but it does enough where it evens out my skin tone But I probably re will repurchase this again in the future um, Probably for summer honestly because it's a matte finish and when I'm sweating and stuff when it's hot and it's 12 hour wear So will I repurchase? Yes. I have two color pop eyebrow pencils in here I'm not even gonna spend some time talking about them because I already told you that I do repurchase these all the time They're five dollars compared to the Anastasia one, which is like 20 Oh, in here I do actually have one of the native deodorants. I showed you guys the body wash. This one is in the scent Jasmine and Cedar. It's not my favorite scent. I wouldn't repurchase this scent, but I would repurchase the brand. I do have the lavender one right now, and then I also like the, I think it's coconut vanilla one. So brand, yes. Scent, no. Two lip products. Uh, the first one is Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the color Babeler. I literally used to wear this all the time. 
Their matte liquid lips are like long wearing. The colors are amazing. They are on the more expensive side. I think like close to $30. I've had like four or five of their shades. This one did dry up pretty bad though. Like it is thick and dried up. I've had it for a few years though. So I decided to get rid of it. Pigment and colors, amazing. Yes, um, I think you can get some very similar colors and kind of like quality for cheaper but i do love smashbox and these liquid lips are great other lip product is a lip treatment this is by catrice cosmetics so this is our lip treatment with shea butter this was horrible i literally did not like it at first i really couldn't tell if i did um but it was very like at first it felt moisturizing but then it was like gritty whenever i would like move my lips together and i guess it calls it a lip treatment but to me like I was expecting like something I could just like put on my lips to be moisturized and it would stay there like when I'm running out or whatever like I didn't like feeling that like sandy feeling on my lips so I did not like that it is again brow related this is the 24 hour brow setter it's kind of faded because it's just been in my makeup bag forever so this is a brow gel I have like five different brow gels I would not repurchase this one it did come in a kit with the Desi Perkins collab they did for um like brow pencil brow gel stuff like that this brow gel is no joke it is keeping your brows in place to the point though where like if i were to feel my brow it felt crispy like i have a brow gel on right now and i can feel it a little bit in my brows but like when i would put this on and reach up to my brow like it felt like hard hard it was kind of weird i really didn't like it i used it up um anyways because it is on the more expensive side but i would not repurchase this one this is by the brand A Cure. I got this at our local grocery store. Um, these are the Brilliant Brightening Coconut Cleansing Towelettes. They're paraben free, sulfate free, all that stuff. I really did like these. I didn't feel like they dried me out or left a weird film on my skin. Um, I've loved them so far. I would definitely repurchase. And I know that like it's not ideal to always have a makeup remover wipe because you could use something like a reusable cotton pad and kind of like not waste product. But I like to have a pack in general just for the times when, you know, I'm not home or whatever. I usually like to have something like this in my bag. So I would repurchase this one. I have two cans of it because I love it so much. I am a dry shampoo advocate like no other. Yesterday I washed my hair for the first time since Tuesday. I went Tuesday to Saturday, I believe. Yeah, Mark Lake thinks that's insane, but... I don't have to wash my hair as much because of like the products I'm using and because I work in a gym and if I use enough like dry shampoo and I style it and stuff, it doesn't need to be washed every day even if you feel like it really does. This is the dry shampoo from Monty. It's the, what do they call it? Dry? Oh, Champ Conditioning Dry Shampoo. So I have two of these. Both are totally used up. This is the best dry shampoo I've ever used. It doesn't leave a white cast on your hair. It doesn't feel like that stiff feeling when you apply dry shampoo. I do have um, Not Your Mother's at the moment because I ran out of these two and I didn't get my next order in yet. This one is really good too. Um, it's not as good as these. I, I do like these the most. The feeling it leaves in my hair just feels like super clean. An essential oil blend. So this is from the brand doTERRA. This is their Digest Zen Roll-On. So when it's in the roll-on, that means that it's already combined with coconut oil. You need some type of oil usually to combine with your blend so that you can apply it directly onto your skin just because they are strong. I live and breathe by this. I usually have it in the roll-on form and the pill form. Right now I only have the roll-on. Any upset stomach, burning sensation in my stomach, whatever it is, food upset it, I rub this immediately right onto my stomach. If you really want to, you can also rub it onto the bottom of your feet. I just ran out and I received my refill yesterday, so I repurchase this literally all the time. If you're somebody who suffers from a lot of stomach problems or an easily upset stomach, I would definitely recommend um, grabbing one of these. Last two products. The first one is an eyeshadow palette. This is kind of cheating because it's not technically used up. There are a few shadows where I hit pan or almost hit pan. But at this point, this palette is so freaking old and I was going through my makeup. I'm like, I have to get rid of this. I've used it up. It's definitely beat up as you can tell. Um, this is the Lorac, Lorac, however you say it, Pro palette. Great neutral shades. I always loved this when I had used it. A lot of shimmers on the bottom and some mattes on the top. Um, would I repurchase 
shadows from their brand i don't know i would it would have to depend on the palette there's other shadows that i really love at the moment and i like exploring and using shadows from different brands so this isn't like really a repurchase i did love it when i was using it though one more thing from Moni. like i'm just being real with you guys i do use these things all the way up this is completely used up i can't get anything else out of here this is the rejuvenique oil so it is like so many different things you can use it for. You can use it for a primer under your makeup, which I used it for a lot. You can use it as like a treatment or serum on your skin before bed. That was the other main thing I used it for. You can use it on tattoos. You can use it on like any kind of like breakouts or rashes. It's a blend of different botanical and essential oils. I love it so much. It's like a hundred bucks though, so I have not repurchased this yet. I'm waiting to see if they do a sale where I can get it. But yeah, I love that. Whew, I literally feel like I'm out of breath. I really do. I was trying to get through those things so quick. Oh my god. Anyways, I hope you guys got some ideas for products that you do want to try or don't want to try. Let me know if you like these types of videos. Comment down below. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're here and you're watching and you're here to the end, please give me a thumbs up. It really just does help. I am going to go finish up some cleaning around the house. I have a shift starting at 1230 at Fruitables. I will see you in my next video. Bye!